What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to model this waffle structure in Revit. I know, it sounds tasty, uh, but it's actually quite cool. Uh, it's not warm, it's cool. <laughs> so, uh, waffle structures are these structures which are kind of, uh, they look like a model uh, architecture or how to build kind of, the, you know, those laser cut models out of balsa wood or something like that. Well, that's how these waffle structures look like. And uh, I thought they look really cool and I wanted to find a way to reproduce that shape in Revit and to find, well, the easiest way to reproduce that shape in Revit. It's obviously possible, but it's just a question of how much time you waste modeling that. So anyways, that's what this tutorial is going to be all about. I'm just going to be showing you my approach. Now, if you want to learn more about modeling these complex buildings, uh, please take a look at my website, balkanarctic.com. So that's going to be the first link just below the video. There, I actually have a course on the massing environment in Revit, where I explain in depth how to build complex shapes in Revit and how to turn them into actual functioning buildings. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check it out. Also, I have over a hundred hours of course content there on many different topics. So I'm sure you will find something that's interesting to you. Also, if you want to download this Revit model, you can do that on my uh, Patreon page, Balkan uh, Architect on Patreon. That's going to be the second link just below the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe. I make useful Revit tutorials each week and make sure to like this video well, because it helps promote the video to other people and that's always good. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So let's get started immediately by going here to Models, going to New, and for the template file, I'm just going to go with my custom Balkan Arctic template. If you want to check out some of my templates, you can find that uh, in the description. The third link takes you to my website, balkanarctic.com. There, at the moment, I'm offering two uh, templates to choose from. So check it out if you're interested. Anyways, I'm just going to click OK and let's let Revit start right up. Uh, now, when it comes to creating these waffle structures, uh, these uh, kind of the waffle constructions, uh, I'm going to be showing you the most efficient way that I found. Uh, it, it does give you the end result that you're looking for uh, in the in the quickest uh, possible time, which was kind of the goal of this tutorial. Uh, obviously, there are many methods, especially if you're using uh, or connecting uh, Revit with Rhino, Grasshopper, or just using Dynamo. Uh, I'm sure you can uh, have perhaps a more efficient method or a more perfected method uh, but for just getting the general shape this will be the kind of the, the approach uh, so to create this shape what I'm going to do is uh, simply go here to massing and site uh, and I'm going to be building this as an in place uh, mass so uh, let's go here, let's turn on the show mass and then let's go to in place mass. Uh, for the name we can call it mass one, that's quite all right. And now uh, let's go ahead and place some reference planes. So to create the shape or to build the shape, I'm just going to be building it very simply, uh, very simple. So I'm just going to go here to reference plane. I'm just going to place one reference plane here, one reference plane here, one here, and then finally one here. There we go. Okay, so once we have these planes, it makes sense to name them. So the first one will be the reference plane one, the second one, number two, the third one, number three, the fourth one, number four, and that's it. Okay, so once we have these reference planes, now it's time to build our shape. So to build the shape, we have to go here to the south elevation, and now we can start creating our shape. So what I'm going to do is go here to the ellipse tool. Uh, here uh, Revit is asking us which work plane we're working with and which we can just choose uh, to specify it by name because we have already named them. So we can start off with number one, click OK. And then let's create a simple ellipse, perhaps like this. There we go. So now for the second one, let's go again to the ellipse tool. I'm just going to go a little bit lower here, go like that, perhaps, just like that. Uh, and for this one, I can select it. And here for the reference plane, instead of one, let's move it to two. There we go. Again, let's go to ellipse. 
make sure the draw on work plane is selected and then here you can choose reference plane number three for this one i'm just going to move it a little bit up again it's going to be mostly a vertical ellipse maybe a little bit wider like that and then finally for the final one let's go again to ellipse reference plane number four and then let's place it here perhaps like that there we go now let's go to the 3d view let's see what we have let's see what this looks like okay it might look interesting so let me try let me just go like this create form and we do have sort of an interesting form uh, now obviously at the bottom i want it to kind of be sitting on the ground so we have to cut that out so for that i'm just going to go again to south elevation i'm going to go here to a rectangle tool uh, we can go with reference plane one and then just create a rectangle like this hit the escape key a couple of times uh, and then i'm just going to go to the 3d view select the rectangle go to create form go to void form and then extend it all the way through like that uh, then go to cut geometry select the form select the void and there we go so now it's kind of sitting on the ground uh, now uh, obviously you can play around with this shape you can kind of try to make a kind of a filleted edge here some sort of a cap on both sides uh, in the interest of keeping this video simple and short i'm just going to leave it like this but obviously you can add much more complexity to this uh, perhaps something that i would do is just Hit the tab key a few times to select this ellipse and then i can go to edit profile there we go and then let's try let's go to that south elevation and let me try building that same ellipse but a little bit wider perhaps it would make it a little bit more interesting let's see go back to the 3d view hit finish yeah see it's a little bit more interesting uh, a little bit wilder <laughs> shape <laughs> anyways uh, so once we have this shape created let's say that we're happy with it and now let's turn that into that waffle shape well what you need to do first is to have some sort of a plane on which you're going to be host hosting walls which are going to be those elements or the of the waffle shape those vertical uh, elements uh, now to just to, to to achieve that what you need to do is go here to your level uh, but let's go here to the site plan just like that there we go we're in the site plan and then you want to go here to create uh, let us then uh, go to rectangle uh, make sure you're in level one and let's create one really long rectangle like so you want to select one of the edges by using the tab key and let's make this point one so just point one meters just like that and we can select the whole thing and just bring it in close here perhaps like this anyways once this is in place let's go to the 3d view uh, while it's still selected go to form void form and then extrude it all the way up there we go and as you can see it's cutting through this model here that's perfect now you want to select that again so to select that void shape you want to come here where it's cutting the actual model and then hit the tab key a few times until that thing highlights then you click you select it and then you can go back to your site plan for example and then you can go here to copy and then we can just copy that so i can just go here copying and make sure that multiple is selected i go all the way to the other side and then i type in the number which is going to be 1.5 for this one uh now here we can just go like that 1.5 1.5 now if you get annoyed at the kind of having to input that number uh, many times what you can do also is just come in here see how it's now getting those whole shapes that's perfect uh, now again let's come in here use the tab key a few times until we can select there we go and now it's going to show you all of the voids so you can make a selection like that and like that and then you want to yeah you just want to select the voids so let's see oops let's try that again so it's a little bit hard to select so let me hit the tab key a few times again there we go select one hold the control key select the rest make sure that you don't select the bottom void or the model itself so just go like this and actually you don't want to select the first one either so let's hold the shift key and remove this one from selection there we go perfect now go back to the site plan oops that's the south uh, site plan there we go now you go here to copy 
co is the shortcut and then you can just go from here to here and if I just wait for a few seconds there we go so as you can see it has copied that now obviously you can copy it again but because we only need one more uh, what I can do is just come in here select the whole shape and then just go and copy that by 1.5 and see just where it ends up it's probably going to be somewhere close here there we go okay so once we have something that looks like this uh, what you want to do next is just double check the shape there we go looks perfectly fine uh, and now what you want to do is hit finish mass now obviously we're not finished but we have the first half of this structure the next step is going to be uh, just coming in here to architecture or sorry to massing inside and then going to wall uh, now here for the uh, for the wall I'm just going to go with the generic 100 millimeter type it's included in this template uh, feel free to build like a really thin wall uh, if you want if you don't if you're not using this template and then you just come in here and select one face of these walls and you just click and you just keep clicking on just one of the faces so usually walls will have well obviously they'll have two of these faces so you just click on one and then just keep selecting the same one on each of these little cuts through the model so this is the probably the longest uh, process the most annoying one but luckily we don't really have many of them here and there we go perfect so we have all of those if I turn off show mass as you can see this is what we have at, at this time now the next step is to turn back the show mass on and then you want to select the mass go edit in place okay so once we're back here you want to go hit the tab key a few times until you select one of those voids like so and then you want to go like this select them all well here I obviously selected too much so let me try that again okay sometimes it's going to just keep selecting everything so uh, you can just use the shift key to remove this as well as the shape itself there we go so you just want to select the kind of the vertical voids not the bottom void nor the shape and then you hit delete there we go and we're left with this which is perfect and you can still see the walls inside so even though we have deleted the voids the walls will stay and now we have to make the horizontal cuts so for that again you repeat the process you go here to the site plan uh, you go to a rectangle and then you come in here and build something that looks like that and now you want to make it longer because the other side is a bit wider like that there we go okay so you select that go to the 3d view and then go to create form void form there we go okay uh, now I'm just going to select this entire shape and again go to the side plan go to copy and you just want to keep copying that so let's try one that was 1 1.5 1 1.5 1 point five and then I like to repeat this just a few times just to have something to select and then copy at once let's do one more there we go perfect so once you have a few of these go back to the 3d view and then you come back to one of the shapes hit the tab key a few times to select it and then you want to hold the control key and add the rest of them to the selection perfect and then you want to hold the shift key to remove the first one from the selection I know it's a little bit annoying but yeah that's the that's the process so you go back to the site plan you go to copy and then you copy from here down to here wait for a while to copy that make sure that multiple is selected here because you don't want to go through this process again then you can repeat the same thing let's wait for a few moments there we go and I think we need just one more to finish this structure let's see come on as you can see uh, Revit is kind of <laughs> taking this quite hard because it's well it's obviously a lot of strain on the computer we have one more here which we can just delete there we go go back to the 3d view this is what we have and now we can finish this mass so once the mass is finally finished uh, uh, now we can 
of course, add the walls that are supposed to go there. So you repeat the same process. You go to masking and site, you go to walls, uh, use the same wall, and then you can find those vertical walls and you keep placing them along the length of this beast or this shape. So uh, obviously this is a quite a simple shape that they just created for this demonstration. You would probably invest a lot more time into building the the actual shape. So it's kind of hard to see where we stopped. There we go. Uh, yeah, but in the end, this is kind of the process how you get to that waffle shape. Again, it's not perfect. Uh, obviously, it does have its limitations and its downsides. Uh, and you cannot do too much with this approach. Uh, but it is a really cool approach and it does give you the, the, the shape that you're looking for. Okay, so uh, uh, once we're done with this, uh, I can just hit the escape key a couple of times, go here to show mass and turn that off. And this is the, the shape we're left with. See how here we have kind of that bottom where it's sitting on the ground and then the rest of the shape looks like this. So it looks really cool. We can obviously make some voids in the middle or something like that. You can make it look interesting. But for now, let's just leave it as this. I, I think it looks really cool. So there you go. That's the approach. This problem probably wouldn't work, so you might want to delete that wall segment. Uh, but what's really cool about this is if you select any of the walls, doesn't matter which one, and you go into Edit Profile, it is going to show you the entire profile of that wall. So theoretically, you could kind of go in and build uh, like, uh, kind of slots uh, according to the vertical walls. If you want to build this into like, a, uh, like an actual physical model, uh, you can use this approach. Uh, again, it is going to waste some time, which you could probably save if you use uh, Dynamo or something like that, but that takes a long time to learn, and this is quite uh, quick and easy and doesn't require a learning uh, complex software like Dynamo. Uh, so anyways, that's how you create something like this. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you have learned something new. As I said, I have an entire course on uh, massing in Revit and the massing environment. So please check it out if you're interested. That's going to be the first link in the description. And also if you want this project file as well as all of my other Revit project files, you can find that on my Patreon, which is going to be the second link in the description. Make sure to subscribe. I make useful Revit tutorials each week, multiple tutorials. Also, make sure to like and share this video and leave me a comment if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future videos. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.